it's your girl, Real Sky. Look, shout out to Kane and Breadwinner. Shout out to It's Gorgeous Music, Artillery Soft, and especially shout out to Zaytoven. Um, I got three singles coming out. One Night Stand. Follow me on Instagram. Like, Real Sky and yeah, we lit. It's the Leo Black Show. Like, I Follow everybody. The booms and just get to it. I don't give a fuck. All right. <laughs> Yo, so we got Royal Sky on the show. Turning up. She's a dope artist, creative, killing it right now in LA. Can't wait for y'all to get to know her. Oh, you don't smoke? Oh, how was it? I got a question. That's why it looks like How is it going on tour with Snoop Dogg and you don't smoke? Can I, I just want to know because I don't smoke either. And if I know if I was on tour, I'd be like, I would smoke with him. I would smoke with him. Hey, we just met, but she don't. <laughs> Yo, so Raw Sky keeps saying she don't smoke weed, right? She said this multiple times. So by this point, we all know we get it. You don't smoke weed. But there's only one question I got. Why? Everybody smokes weed now these days. There's only two reasons I can think of. Either you're allergic or you're paranoid. It's one or the other. <laughs> I don't smoke weed at all. Word. You never yeah. smoked weed before? No, I did. It's just, I became paranoid. Now, I think somebody laced me one time I hit a blunt, so I just can't do it no more. I'd be, tri I'd be like, I can't feel my mouth. I don't yeah. like that shit. <laughs> yeah, hi, girl, I'm going to be real with you. you. I think if it was Snoop Dogg and he was like, hit the blunt, bro, I'm going to hit that motherfucker. But then I'm going to lock myself in the room because I'm going to be true. The performance was dope tonight. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Shout out to the homegirl Twine. Snoop Dogg too. Hell yeah. What's amazing? What's fun? But I don't. I don't smoke. Let's get it. Okay. So the person after you can dare you to do anything. You can either fulfill the dare or refuse the dare and drink. Oh shit. What's up, man? What's your dare? Right. I'm like, what you say about? I dare you to do that. Hey, anybody got some weed in here? Yeah, girl. Oh, man. All right, check this out. I would have smoked a blunt, okay? I would have hit the blunt. Don't smoke. Back, I remember back being in foster care, I would get in trouble for for bumping my headphones listening to Eminem. What musician always has inspired me and always will is Eminem, of course. Right, right, right. And and I heard this a lot. It's not because of the color card. It's not because he's a white rapper. You know, I grew up in the projects. I grew up different than that. It's not it has nothing to do with race. And I heard that in like even other like other interviews ever after that. It's more so because like I could relate to like his story and his music and you know, with his past. But when it comes down to music now, I fuck with a lot of like artists, you know, like Polo G, Quando Rondo, Megan Thee Stallion. I like her. Um, I really want to do a song. I really, really want to do a song with Kevin Gates. I love Kevin Gates. I love J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. I would love them to do the song. Love them to death. Um, Yo, so what I like about Real Sky is she likes real music, real substance, real lyrics. She listens to dope artists. It's like poetry, very therapeutic for her. So, what you listening to right now, Laura Sky? I fuck with Kevin Gates off tops. Um, I fuck with Lil Boozy. Lil Boozy, okay. Yeah, I fuck with a, I fuck with a lot of, I fuck with Kendrick Lamar too. Kendrick yeah. Lamar, J Cole lyrically. For sure. Yeah, there's a lot that's of artists. Yeah, I manifest that. So, put it out there. Yeah. yeah. I bought a, um, you know, I got a little boozy on deck right now. Right. So, I'm going to make that happen. Yeah. So, shout out to Lil Boozy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so other than that, I'm that shit. Shout out to everybody, by the way. Shout out to everybody in the industry upcoming. I fuck with all y'all. All right, so you know what we really want to know? Who would you smash, Mary kill? Let's hear it this guy. Kill Big Song. Yeah. Smash J. Cole, marry ASAP Rocky for sure. Where? 
Yo, Royal Sky, so what does energy mean for you? How big is that when it comes to like being in the studio and stuff? Because obviously you got like a no tolerance for bullshit type of pass. <laughs> no tolerance for BS at all, or Royal Sky, for sure. Um, When it comes to people, it depends. Like if you mock my people, yeah. And I and I fuck with you. Yeah, I don't mind you being there, but definitely if you have a bad vibe where you're not bobbing your head or you know, you kind of like offish, I'll ask you to leave. You A lot, and and you know what's crazy? That pain brought, in a weird way, actually happiness, Molly. Because I could actually go to the studio and make great music. Even if that music's sad, I make it to let other people know I feel you. And I just told I'm you that earlier. Yeah, like that's what I've been looking special. at you all night. <laughs> we connection, like, like we you might not, connection. your story might not be like everybody else's, but that's what makes you special. Exactly. And you know what's crazy? Our all, all of our stories are not like each other's. But you know what brought us all here? What? Music. Music brings people together. We know we're loving this vibe. Oh, God. I love everybody at the table. First of all, y'all all beautiful. Y'all got the jewelry, yo. And after we went through some I, I, I believe everybody learned. Right. One thing I've learned in life is like being vulnerable brings you closer to people. Like it's the best thing you could ever do is keep it real because keeping it real, that shit connects you to people. Exactly. exactly. And first of all, you're so beautiful for one. Thank you. I'm just going to say this. I'm not no hate. I appreciate it. You're beautiful as fuck. Outfit popping, your face, everything about you is bomb as fuck. So your ex, the one that was doing that to you, hey, check this out, baby. That's his loss because he missed you know out on that. I piece. thank God every day. I thank God that because you left. one of my friends just told me this, and I promise you, like I've been using this shit to feel me every day. She said, "No, no love is lost. Like you can give no love all. lost, no love lost. Yeah, no, no, no <laughs> love is lost. Like you can give your love to somebody, and if they don't return it, it's all good. Because guess what? You're gonna get it everywhere yeah. else." I loved him and I gave him everything. You know what I'm saying? That's you know what I'm saying? I'm getting, getting, it. More about I'm getting it, it, it from you. I'm getting right. it from you. I'm getting this it from you. This is the saying that I had. I said, if you f me over, you're not f me over. You're f yourself over. Damn. Exactly. And that's. Can I get a. Uh, 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 yeah. If you f me over, you're not f me over. You're not f me over. That's why, though. That's why. You can't. Let me take a shot to that. Revenge, yeah. though, ladies. Oh, yeah. You cannot seek revenge. Like you have to be very, very. You know what my only revenge is? You know what my only revenge? Success is the best. It's the Baby, I'm gonna make a hit record and be on TV and let you cry about it. You gonna watch me? You gonna see me? Fuck all the watches. You gonna see me, but you will never fucking touch me again. Girl, hey, can I ask you a question? Shout out to the roach watching this shit. Hey, shout out to her roach too, y'all. Roaches in the kitchen get stomped on. My ex was where the kinds that always took the roaches. I'm like, where? Right? Oh, she's talking about the roaches. Okay, cool. I said they had like a roach. Get out of my house. Yo. I said, I said, she said, my cousin used to take the roaches. I'm not talking about weed roaches. I said, okay, that was that was actually what about about the flying roaches. So have you ever seen a oh, flying yeah. roach? My ex looked Brazil. just like one, <laughs> just like one. He had wings and all. <laughs> we have those big ones that here come flying. Hey, Brazil, right? They got flying roaches. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, tell her, Rose, guy, don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't just try to dig in my pockets. Like, genuinely, be like a friend. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta really feel people out because even my own close homies fucked me over. So at this point, anybody, it can happen with anybody, and I'm already knowing that. So, as women, I, and I'm gonna bring this up, right? And y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, the whole the baby and Danny Lay situation. Yeah. I think that the yeah. the baby did Danny Lay so, so dirty. Danny Lay is so yeah. beautiful, yeah. so talented. I know she dances and sings. Her fun. Girl, I was pissed. Like, it hurt me. Like it yeah. really hurt me. Wait, because, what do we do? Okay, so he put on live, right? 
And he basically, you know, oh, he yes. got her pregnant and he was yeah. like, you're my side bitch. And just made it look like a fool so and just disrespected her. Yeah. And by the way, like, I'm, I'm a, I'm, we're all women. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. all artists. Mm-hmm. I was in an abusive relationship last right. year. I stopped doing music yeah. for a whole year. Mm. Went to jail, you know, got stabbed by my ex-boyfriend. Like, crazy, uh, toxic shit. Yeah. So I know what it's like to stop your music career because the man you're with is insecure and jealous because he doesn't want you to be around other men or whatever the case may be. Denny Lay stopped doing music after she had her three hit records. And then she, she had that. a baby. She didn't need that. And I just right. hope that she bounces back, girl. Oh, yeah, she will. She's yeah. really this amazing. this week, I just got even mad because... The baby went to the bully island and hit her. Oh, yeah, her brother. Her brother. And then she deactivated her Instagram. Yeah, like they jumped him. It wasn't oh. even a one on one. was like they pulled his hair. A bunch of clowns. Yeah, they it pulled his ridiculous. hair. It was crazy. Oh. But I think that that's one female artist that honestly, like, and I don't really even like a lot of new female artists out. Like, making it sound like cool. I don't like her like that, though. I don't really listen to her. Some songs that we at parties and shit, you know, yeah, shaking yeah. ass. But when it comes down to music, what? Danny Lay, I love her yeah. so spirit. Show you, and she's a really... Show you what matters who you fuck with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Even just, even if you're not an artist, like, exactly. you need to make sure that whoever you're fucking with, like, they support you and exactly. they see you and... They they support who you want to be. I lost respect. Now nah, I fuck with the baby, but after that, well, he did the Denny Lake. I lost respect for him as a person. I can't imagine if that was me. Hey, so this guy, we all know what you do. Cause I don't know. <laughs> Everyone votes on who is most likely to get arrested. That person drinks. Oh, that's just my favorite. Oh yeah, I'm like. Okay, I'm gonna be. Trust me, I wouldn't even try to pull your card. <laughs> this is my dog. Oh, where he be chilling, but the other ones be loud and shit. That's hard. But yeah. Bikes on the front side. Yes. Did she just fall off the table? <laughs> Shit. I get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I do both in one night. Stop playing with <laughs> me. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, yeah. Cheers. 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 All of us as an artist. Keep going. Keep going. That's right. Never give up. Instead, turn up. Right here, right now for the Leo Black Show. My advice would genuinely be just to, to never give up. And in order for people to believe in you, you got to believe in yourself. Leo Black.